to doing JavaScript algos and data structures, basic JavaScript challenge 110 of 113. We are getting so close. Today, we're going to learn about using conditional operators, which are called ternary operators, ternary statements. All right, so we can use a ternary operator as a one-lined, one-line if-else expression. That's the best way to think of it. Ternaries are one-line if-else with only the two conditions, right? So it can only be, only have two outcomes. You can't nest a bunch of if else, else if statements. It's literally one of two conditions. So the syntax is A, question mark, B, colon, C, where A is the condition, B is the code to run if it's true, C is the, run to code, the code to run if it's false. So as you can see here, we have uh, a if statement, we take in two numbers, looks like, yeah, two integers, and then we say if A is greater than B, return this, else, return this, meaning B is bigger, return this. Um, we can do this all this with a ternary, and that is very common. You'll definitely see this in a lot of libraries and frameworks. Um, they're just very common, so definitely a good concept to, to understand and be able to use. This is the ternary, right? So it's, it's within a function, but we're returning the entire ternary statement because a function or a conditional is equal to whatever it returns. So we have the condition a greater than b. If a is greater than b, after the question mark, we have what we want, the result, right? So we have the string that we want to return, and it's all in the return line. So whatever is the whatever is true, right? Whether it's whatever outcome, whether it's this one or this one, it will just plug in that in the return. It'll just plug that in because this whole statement is equal to whatever it returns. So we say a greater than b question mark. If it's true, a is greater. Colon meaning. If, it, if this this is the next condition, if that is not true, B is greater. All right, so I hope that made sense. Ternaries are definitely something that are used, but really the syntax to remember is condition, question mark, true, false, separated by a colon. Okay, so we're going to use the conditional operator in check equal to check if two numbers are equal or not. Uh, the function ret should return the string equal if equal, and then not equal if they're not, right? So um, to kind of break this down, how they have this on one line, this is equal to whatever it returns, right? So we can say, just to, to uh, visualize this, we can say let result equal uh, a equal to b, question mark, if they are equal, if they're not, we'll put the colon and then the, the false condition, and we'll say not equal. And then we can return result. And if we console log result, we can see it is it result is not equal because this statement is equal to whatever it returns, either one of these conditions. Hence, why, if I run this, it'll work. Uh, you can see it's logging in all the tests it's doing. That is the result. It is equal to whatever that statement returns, which is why we can simply take this and just return the ternary statement as a whole, the ternary operator as a whole. And that will be the same output, just simpler. So I hope that little visualization helped. Um, main thing to remember was this ternary statement is equal to whatever its outcome is. All right, hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.